YouTube viewers and random Batman fans, I come before you today to review this, which is the Dark Knight Rises Battle at the Bank playset. And here it is in its, frankly, gigantic packaging. Now, I really love the setup of the toys within this packaging. I love the Batman vs. Bane motif. Uh, so you've got the actual playset itself uh, in the actual background. So in the foreground here, you've got Batman and Bane exchanging punches. Uh, Batman's got his bat pod behind him. Bane's got the camouflage tumbler behind him. So I love the setup of this box. I think it looks really, really nice. For the rest of the box itself, you've got this great window that displays these toys really, really well. Uh, and then after that, it all kind of falls into generic territory, really. So you've got a picture of Batman at the top corner there. Battle at the Bank, written in a few languages at the bottom corner here, with the place in itself kind of closed and then uh, fully opened with the Dark Knight Rises logo at the top corner here. Uh, for the sides of the box, it's all really basic. So it's just a few pictures showing off various features from the set itself. Around the back, it's the same story, more kind of pictures from around the set itself and uh, some of the other toys that are available in the range. And if you take a look underneath the box, hey, look at that, it's legal garb, well, hey. So that pretty much does it for the packaging. So now let's open it up and take a look at this toy itself. So let's start off with the bat pod, uh, which is just really a load of molded plastic just stuck together really. There's not a lot of paint taps or anything like that going on. So bring it a little closer, you can see the tires there with kind of rough tire tread on there. It's not really movie accurate. Uh, then you've got the cannons on the side here on this uh, grey plastic. There's a lot of grey plastic throughout this uh, bat pod, so... I, I don't, I'm not really sure if I like that or not. I know this is aimed more at kids and it's to kind of brighten up the bat pod because otherwise it would just be all black, I guess. So I suppose that's all right. So taking a look at the rest of the bike, there is a lot of detail uh, on it here. So you've got the controls at the front, uh, which have the alarm guards in place there. Again, these are silver. Uh, the body of the bike itself looks pretty good. So you've got the knee rests there and the foot rests at the back. Uh, then this weird box section here. I, I don't know why they've included that. Uh, and then there's a little bit of bronze there, I suppose. Uh, then around the back here, you've got the back wheel. Uh, both these, are, of course, are kind of freewheeled and they freewheel quite well. Uh, then around the other side of the bike, it's all kind of the same detail, except you've got a lot of these ugly little screw holes here, which I really don't like. But apart from that, that's the bat pod. The set also includes this three and three quarter scale Batman figure, which for its size is detailed fairly okay. So you can take a look at the head sculpt there. Uh, really does look nice. He's uh, got the coil on there, and uh, you can kind of see the mouth is sculpted quite well. Uh, the suit itself is all present and correct. So you've got the bat symbol there on his chest, and you can see all the other various pieces of armor plating that uh, make up his suit. The arms are detailed very well. They've got the gauntlets and the gloves in place there uh, on both arms. I love the belt as well. They've uh, decided to include a lot of detail on the belt, including those various little compartments and the fact that they've decided to color it gold as well. That's nice. Uh, the legs are detailed fairly nicely too. You can see the, uh, the knee pads and stuff there. Uh, the boots are also detailed incredibly well. You can see the tread uh, on the bottom of his boots there too, on the soles. Uh, around the back, uh, you've got this cape here, which is kind of a rarity because a lot of Batman figures these days have cloth capes, whereas with this one, it's kind of a molded plastic. But, you know, you can still kind of lift it up, and I like the detail on it too. You can lift that up, and it reveals more detail on his back too, like uh, the rest of the gold belt there, and some more armor plating across his back. So... The detail on the figure is very nice. Now where it's let down is by the articulation because the head does the full 360 twist. Uh, the arms can do the full 360 at the shoulder but they're hindered kind of slightly by the cape. And that's it. There's, there's no other articulation at all. There's not even any leg articulation or waist articulation. So that kind of lets it down for me. Very, very poor articulation. And attaching Batman to the Bat Pod is incredibly easy thanks to this little clip here that's been included on the actual Bat Pod itself. So Batman just literally clips to the Bat Pod, you extend his arms out and slot them uh, onto the, the steering on either side and that's him ready to go. So it's incredibly easy for kids to attach and detach Batman from his Bat Pod. Also included in the set is the Tumblr and I have the same issues with this that I do with the Bat Pod in that the detail's good, but I could have done with a few more paint apps just to bring out that detail. So if you take a little look there at the front, you can see what I mean. I could have done with a little lick of paint there just to bring out that detail. I do like the wheels. I like the uh, 
the design on the wheel is very movie accurate. I love the camo paint on the tumbler. It really makes it look like a like an actual tank, like it could be used in uh, in desert combat. Uh, the detail on it is very very nice. Definitely very movie accurate. I love how they've used this glossy black paint here to bring out the windows. I think that was a great idea. Uh, you've got the flaps at the back all present and correct. The back wheels again look great, but perhaps a little bit of paint could have been used in the actual wheel hub there. Uh, definitely a lot of paint could have been used on that afterburner too just to bring out the detail on it uh, and again around the other side you've got the same kind of detail there underneath is just completely bare uh, and then you've got the the little uh, missile launcher here which is a little bit, a bit inaccurate when compared to the Dark Knight Rises because of course the missile launcher was actually where the passenger seat should be so that's a little bit inaccurate uh, but the, the best part about this is also kind of the worst part is that if you pop this up here uh, this actually lifts up uh, revealing the cockpit but also if you take a look there you can see underneath it reveals the same design as a regular tumbler so it would have been great had this missile section been able to actually pop off so you could have had just you know a normal tumbler uh, in camo design like we saw in Batman Begins I would have personally loved that and perhaps even if these had been interchangeable so you could pop this missile section off and pop on that little turret gun that we saw in the other tumbler from Dark Knight Rises but that's not the case so lifting up this little top hatch here you can see the design of a little seat there on the inside with some gadgets and gizmos at either side there and of course the little uh, steering stick down at the front and again same story could have done with a little bit of paint there just to bring it out but unfortunately that's not the case so that is the desert camo tumbler let's also take a look at the band figure uh, the detail on which leaves a little to be desired so the mask especially doesn't really look too great uh, and again there's a lot of grey on it there too uh, the actual body armor there that Bane wore throughout the movie again just like the vehicles could have done with a touch of paint there just to bring it out uh, I love his arms as well, he got big muscly arms <laughs> and uh, his little kind of uh, wrist strap there, his forearm strap there, it's included anyway so it looks good uh, you've also got the the trousers there which has got the creases on them there, that they look nice and again you've got the boots at the bottom which again look pretty good too and uh, are on the back of the figure the detail is kind of similar so when it comes to articulation the head does the full 360 exorcist twist it's a little bit tight uh, the arms do the full 360 at the shoulders and then at the legs here they kind of kick forward about 45 degrees and move back the full 90 degrees so that, that's kind of it for articulation so detail yeah articulation yeah and of course with the tumbler being Bane's vehicle of choice here, uh, he fits into it fairly easily. You just pop open that little hatch at the top uh, and slide Bane into place and he sits in there fairly well. And of course the hatch can also close on top of him, uh, leaving Bane inside. So he fits pretty well. So let's talk about the actual playset itself, which for me is a bit generic really. I mean it's supposed to look like some underground bank vault but it looks like a weird mishmash of various little pieces. I mean sure there are a few parts of it that are quite enjoyable like up at the top here you've got this little batarang which you can attach Batman to and allow him to zip line across. There are a few platforms for Batman and Bane to fight on. Uh, down at this side there's this weird cage section with this opening door. I, d I don't know what that's for. And again beside it there's another little section there that allows you to actually attach your Batman or Bane figure to. I, I still don't know what that's for. Um, on the other side here you've got this little safe and the little safe door opens and you can see a picture of some money on the inside of it there. So that, that's a cool little feature. Then you've got this crane which I don't know why that's there. Uh, but it's got this little clip at the end of it that allows you to attach, uh, attach Batman or Bane to it. So it, I suppose it could be fun for kids. Uh, then in the middle here, you've got this weird little turret gun thing uh, that allows Batman to fire these little coins here. You get two of these little coins with the Batman logo on them. So I suppose kids could use them and pretend they're little batarangs that Batman's firing at Bane or something like that. In fact, it, it almost looks like something that came off Batman's belt here. So I suppose kids could take it and clip it to their own belts and, and, and use it as some kind of Batman gadget. I don't know. Uh, but overall, the rest of this playset, the detail is fairly generic and it doesn't really offer a lot of features. Uh, one feature it does offer though that I find really really cool and quite fascinating is the fact that the whole thing is collapsible so you can collapse all these little sections down and pack them away and it packs up into this nice little grey briefcase. There's even a little section there that allows you to pull these little sections up 
and form a little handle for the briefcase and even on the side of it there you can see there's a little Batman logo as well just to complete that little gimmicky look so I think that's quite cool that's quite cute uh, it would have been nice if that had been a little tiny bit bigger so you could also put your figures and the bat pod and the tumbler in there as well and use it as a little carry case for the playset but yeah, you know that doesn't really happen but I still like it I think it's a cool little gimmick but the playset itself is a little bit generic but it still offers a nice background for uh, kids whenever they're playing with Batman and Bane. So overall what do I think of this playset? Well you may remember the last Batman movie to include Bane was of course Batman and Robin. Now that movie was described as being incredibly toyetic where basically you could pause the movie at pretty much any scene and you could make a toy out of that particular scene. With The Dark Knight Rises it's a completely opposite movie uh, in a lot of ways and one of those ways is the fact that it's 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 very anti-toyetic uh, in a sense that there's not a lot of scenes you can make a lot of toys out of for example you can clearly tell that this is based on the scene where Bane infiltrates the stock market to screw up with the the whole plan with Bruce Wayne's fingerprints spoilers etc etc but uh, you can't really make a toy out of that so this is kind of the child's equivalent where instead of Bane's master plan with the stock market it's instead being robbing a generic bank. Uh, so that obviously does make it toyetic. But for me, it's very, very generic. I mean, the playset itself is very bland. It doesn't really offer much. Uh, and the detail on pretty much everything leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, the vehicles look okay. I definitely do like that tumbler, even though the, uh, the missile launchers are in the wrong place. Uh, I like the fact that the playset can fold up into a little briefcase. That's a nice little feature. Uh, the Batman figure definitely is superior to the Bane figure whenever it comes to detail, uh, but both of them have very, very poor articulation. This, for me, definitely is a playset for the kids. Uh, which I'm sure they'll get a lot of fun out of, um, especially with those vehicles and being able to put the figures on the vehicles. Uh, I think they will get a lot of fun out of it. For collectors, if you do like the look of this, I'd say get it but keep it in its box because the display uh, of it in its box looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I can't uh, recommend that enough uh, and I can't praise the toy company enough for the packaging. I think it looks superb. Uh, but it looks better in its box, out of its box if you're a collector. But for kids, they'll have a blast with it. So that brings us to the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's countless more reviews online. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to keep following the nerd. Bye-bye. Tonight on Vote Section 07, we're going punk style, where the camera is all shaky cam, and it's handheld, but handheld really badly, so we get up nice and close to the playset, and oh my god, isn't it so totally awesome and amazing.